now offers you the advantage of Sears and Quest Networks, allowing you to bank at over 31,000 locations across America. At Citizens Bank and Trust Company of Jackson, the bank grown with the mountains that's large enough to serve, yet small enough to care. Just about ready for the introduction of the starting lineups to the crowd here. Jim, I did find out one interesting thing during the intermission between these two games. Whenever you have a tournament that's sponsored by Pepsi and you have the WYMT crew on hand, uh -huh. in between games, we all have the same thought in mind <laughs> because I'm at a line back there at the door where the truck is parked. So evidently we, we had the same idea. Good crowd on hand, even though we did have some bad weather this afternoon and unfortunately expecting some more for tomorrow, as I understand it. But we had a good attendance for the first game, and I'm sure you're going to hear a good, strong home crowd for not counting here tonight. Keith, not County coming in at 9-9. Nine and nine. They've had a number of close losses on the year. Breathitt County took them out by six, Corbin by six, Hazard knocked them off by three, Bell County and also Todd County Central knocked them off by a couple. So of those nine losses, they've been in virtually every game. Really the only one that they were kind of knocked out of early was the Clay County game. The Belfry Pirates, only three losses on the year. Pretty impressive foes to number four Ballard, to number two Clay County in the finals of their own tournament. And then also district rival Elkhorn City knocking off Belfry. You know, that was a big win for Elkhorn City. And I think it was a big win for the 15th region because it sent out a message, Jim, that Belfry wasn't or isn't a dynasty or unbeaten in that region. And it gave teams like Elkhorn City and some other teams some hope. Exactly right, Keith. And Belfry comes in right number one in the 15th for the third year in a row. They've been to two straight sweet 16s, ranked in the top 15 in the state all year long. And they're really playing better than they were at this time last year, even though they do lose the big guy, Jim Dotson. And uh, in talking with Coach Raymond Justice, big Jim Dotson has been scoped, Keith, and he's got some that anterior cruciate ligament you know I, I don't even know how, I surely couldn't spell it and I could barely say it <laughs> but he's got like 80% damage and they're gonna you know try the knee brace and knee braces in and they're going they're using the ice the heat the bike treatments and hopefully they're gonna have him strong for the finish if he were to go in and you know be scoped again or be operated on again right now and that's pretty much it for the entire year well i'm sure that is going to be a major concern of the pirates as they try to make it back to lexington's rupp arena actually it won't be rupp arena this year no it's a freedom hall trip this year Keith. well we're ready to get this ball game underway belfry in the red and of course not counting in the home white referees for this evening's game with the basketball there is ken catron and his teammate will be Kirk Hudson in the stripes. Joey Pinson against Sonny Huff that time, and the Pirates will control the opening tip. Not County opening up in a 3-2 zone, and the quick jump shot no good. Put back by Pinson, no good. Missed that time by Staten, and Not County is going to come away with a rebound. Their big man, Arrington, clearing the boards. Shot won't go that time for Knott County. Rebound by the Patriots, still no good, and Arrington has been fouled. Both teams hitting the boards hard, Keith, and uh, getting those second chance shots. John Kitchen could not get it to go. However, Sean Hager coming away. Evidently, he took a blow to the face that time underneath. He's a tough one, Keith. Uh, it would take a lot more than that to knock him out of this one. Amberg gets it in. Long bomb for three will not go by Amberg. Hager around the horn. 
Hilton kicks it underneath. J.J. Hilton has it rejected. The foul is going to be called against Sonny Huff, number 44. Looks like maybe slapping down that time, Keith. And, of course, any time you slap, a lot of problems. Hilton's free throw on the way. Good. You could definitely hear the impact of the not counted crowd. They are out in force. Hilton makes it two of two, and that's how we start the ball game. The first two points belong into the Pirates on free throws. John Kitchen controlling the point for the Patriots. Huff down the lane, had it rejected. Taken away by Amberge, knocked out of bounds again, and they're going to say this one belongs to the Belfry Pirates. Here's a good matchup in backcourt. Hager against Kitchen. Hilton off to Hager. Underneath, and it is going to go. That's Joey Pinson getting the first field goal of the ball game. Big 6'4 senior. And he gives his team a four-point lead. Keith. Ambergy underneath. Jeff Cody gets the two points. Jeff Cody, the 6'3 junior. Hilton for three. If it goes, it does, and he is fouled by Ambergy. Well, we're going to see our first four-point play. For me, it's going to be the first one I've seen this season. J.J. Hilton did not play football this year, Keith, and worked on the basketball game over the summer. And I think you can tell that he's added about two feet to his jump shot. I think he wasn't really comfortable behind the arc last year. His comfort range was really about a step inside the arc. I think you're going to find out that with a lot of heavy practice that he is able now to go behind the arc with real ease. Amberger had nowhere to go that time, so stolen away by Belfry. Pirates up quickly in this game, 8-2. to two. Hilton on the move, and he's called for traveling that time. Of course, Keith, the Bel Belfry Pirates from the 15th region in the 60th district, Elkhorn City, Feds Creek, Johns Creek, Phelps, and Belfry, all of those teams, awfully tough. Stolen away by Hilton. Two on one, behind the back. Hold on to your seat, Keith. This one is going to be a dandy as Sonny Huff comes from the blind side to knock it away. J.J. and taking it behind his back. Pinson underneath, no good. Hilton gets it back and lays it in. J.J. Hilton made a beautiful behind-the-back dribble that time, but Sonny Huff with a swat, much to the delight of Knott County, but the Patriots down 10-2. Belfry winning the battle on the boards. Joey Pinson, Staten, Thomas in there battling. Right now, North County Central having some problems. Huff looking inside. Kitchen stolen away. Belfry on the drive. Blocking foul. Stevie Staten taking it the length of the floor. Could not get it to fall, but he does pick up the foul. And, Jim, the problem that the Patriots have had of falling behind, actually, they haven't had this problem. Their problem was getting a lead and losing it. Yep. They're experiencing something different in this ball game, finding themselves behind early on. That is two fouls on Byron Amberge. And that is the first problem for head coach Jim Rose. Amberge really kind of has a little bit of a bruised leg and had some problems with that earlier today. Sonny Huff also some problems with the flu bug. 1-2-1-1 one, 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 trap. 
by Belfry, and we have a foul against Stevie Staten reaching in. See Chris Phillips checking in for Belfry. Like 21, Staten will sit down. Not counting, breaks at that time. Jeff Cody gets the two-point shot off the basket. He has all four of their points. Might have gotten away with a walk at last time, Keith. Sean Hager down the middle, drawing the foul from the big man, Arrington. You look at Not County, Jim, and they're very, a very intimidating team. A lot of size, seem to have a lot of quickness. Hager missing the free throw. Makes it one out of two, and it's 12 to four, the lead for the Pirates. Arrington can't control it. Knocked out of bounds by Knott County. It'll belong to Belfry. That's the kind of effort, though, that Coach Jim Rose likes to see. Cody, the 6'3 junior, flying out of bounds. And they're going to need to pick up the pressure on the defensive end. It's Belfry getting open shots and then getting a number of second shots. Phillips, shot is short. Boy, a lot of hands in there. Sonny Huff cannot control it. Not County has been plagued with trying to handle the basketball. The first round, they took out Jackson 80-61. They had an 11-point lead at half and moved it on up. Belfry, of course, took out Hazard 63-60 and had a tough time the whole way. Benson underneath, couldn't get it off. Phillips will, and it is good for two. Chris Phillips had a big steal in last night's game that led to a dunk by J.J. Hilton. And Here's Sonny Huff. Not County finally breaks the cold string to make it 14 to 6. Somebody finally scores. Other than Jeff Cody, Sonny Huff scratches at 30 earlier this year versus Cordia. Hilton shot no good. Kitchen on the run out. Ambergy trying to control it underneath the Huff. Wait for the foul. No basket. Well, that's just a case of waiting a little bit too long. Long three-pointer on the way by Huff. No good. It is put back up and in by Jeff Cody for two points. Cody giving a big help off the bench. He had 18 versus Corbin, 10 versus Bell County, and 10 in the win over Jackson County. Not County staying in the zone. Is Pinson. It is rejected by Sonny Huff on the way up. And that is goaltending. It will be two points for Belfry. Make it 16 to 8. Jim Rose will want to talk it over with Knott County. We'll do the same as we take a timeout. Knott County trailing Belfry 16 to 8. Sixty-four years and still growing, White Chevrolet, Chrysler, Pontiac, and Geo in Manchester. And now, to serve you better, we're pleased to announce that we're also selling and servicing Chrysler, Plymouth, Dodge, and Jeep Eagle. So come see our complete line of Chrysler and Jeep Eagle products today. For that same great sales and service you've come to expect, we're now White Chevrolet, Pontiac, Geo, Chrysler, Plymouth, Dodge, and Jeep Eagle in Manchester. That good old mountain sales and service keeps you coming back to White, White Chevrolet, and 
If you are thinking of a career in business, think Union College. Union College delivers a dependable, quality academic experience in an atmosphere that promotes success. Having four-year degrees in accounting, management, computer information systems, office administration, business education, and business music, the business program helps students in building the skills necessary to succeed. With a high percentage of faculty with PhDs and a student-faculty ratio of 14 to 1, Union is committed to offering each student a personal and individual approach to their education. Come share the experience at Union. Well, much like the first game, turnovers playing a big part in this ball game. Not County with five, as opposed to Belfry's one. And, of course, the Pirates lead by eight, 16 to eight. Big battle going on inside. They move Arrington to the high post there. Sonny Huff down the lane, and he is drawing a foul. Keith, always the mark of good coaching when you come out off a timeout and are able to run the play that you want to have. And that time they had Arrington down on the low post. They move him up to the high post. Some cutters go through, and it opened up the middle lane. I think they felt like Huff could beat his man off the dribble. And, of course, he got the foul. Sonny Huff, quite a leaper, of course. Called for goaltending moments ago. It's let you know that he can get above the rim. Sonny Huff had some good games in this tournament last year. Last year after Friday semifinals, Sonny Huff and I found ourselves out on the court doing a little battle along with some other young fellas. And Larry Thornsbury, who helps Jim Rose out, saw and said, get out of there. That guy's going to cripple you. <laughs> Belfry forcing one up in a crowd. And Knott County will come away with it. Kitchen lays it off and missed the layup was Ambergy that time. And the foul is going to be against Knott County. I think Ambergy just got his footing messed up a little bit. Pardon me, the foul is going to be on Belfry. Raymond Justice not happy with the call. And be Jeff Cody to toss it in. Huff going up to get it, lost it. Still on the floor, Ambergy gets it. Here's Kitchen, good pump fake, and couldn't get it to go. J.J. Hill with the breakaway. Good call. They called, called walk, Jim, and I, I tell you, it either had to be walk or J.J. Hilton just did a Julius Irving from the free throw line because that's where he took off. I don't know, Keith. Uh, a lot of times you let guys get away with that. Uh, they certainly do in the NBA and in college. Well, this, this isn't the NBA, my friend. No, it's not, but that's because the guys can't do it. I mean, without question, it happens all the time. When the guys make a dunk, a lot of times in those situations, they do take an extra half step. Well, it's going to be walking against Belfry. And I, you know, I was in agreement with the walk on Hilton. I don't know that I am that time. Looked as if though a Knight County player had fallen into him. But how about the pace of this game, Keith? Starting to heat up. Both teams going at one another. And just prior, when Hilton had the big stuff, you had Sean Hager at 5'8", defending in the low post against Kitchen. Caused him to alter the shot. Kitchen couldn't get it. Belfry has gone to a 2-3 zone, Jim. Here's Kitchen underneath, looking for Huff. Knocked away, it will remain not County's basketball. I do agree with you, there is a good intensity in this ball game. Arrington, baseline, puts up the half hook, two points. The first two points of the night for the big man of Knott County. J.J. Hilton stepping on the out-of-bounds line and turning it over. All of a sudden, the Pirates have about four turnovers in a matter of a moment. And that has hurt them because they did have the 16-8 lead. And, of course, with the dunk that Hilton perhaps could have gotten to go, uh, to really have brought them into a big lead here in the first quarter. Harrington off the glass. Not 
County has cut it to two, 16 to 14. Brad Arrington working hard, looking at the rebounding battle there, Keith, but I tell you, Joey Pinson and Brad Arrington really battling on the inside. Now the Pirates are going to bring it up. Now they'll hold it for the last shot of this quarter. Clock ticking down to 10 seconds. John Hager calling it out. Not County switches up to a 1-3-1 zone. Hilton working it around, fires it on the way, missed it. At the end of one, some excitement at the Borden Combs Athletic Complex. It is Belfry, 16, not County, 14. How does your Toyota dealer stack up? Any deal they can make, we can make better. Can we deliver? Yes, we can. A lot of trucks. Yes, we can. Big savings. Yes, we can. Great deal. Yes, we can. Now's the time to get your best deal on the best-selling import truck with immediate delivery, special financing, and the year's biggest option package savings. No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Say yes to the year's biggest deal. Can we deliver? See your Toyota dealer today and find out. Yes, we can. Hello, I'm Renee Goodman. I'm Charlie Chase. This weekend with Crook and Chase, funny man Dom DeLuise gets animated. Steve Martin goes broke as the father of the bride. And Dennis Miller goes for broke with his own late night luau. We'll profile a film that's giving audiences a rush. And Joan Rivers tells us she won't be satisfied till she's Mrs. John F. Kennedy Jr. Well, the Patriots went on quite a scoring spree. Six unanswered points by Knott County to close out that quarter. 16-14, Belfry by two. Long shot by Amberge, won't go. Belfry with a rebound. Hilton looking to run. Hager for three. Good. Belfry had needed that one as not County Central had thrown up six straight points. It was 16 to eight. They cut it to 16-14. Then Hager makes the big plays, and that's what had worried Coach Jim Rose. Sonny Huff off the baseline. No good, but he is going to draw the foul. I'm a good. I'm a good. Keep in the first quarter, Belfry. Let's take a look. Free throw shooting the Patriots perfect at 100%. The Pirates struggling a little bit. That's something they did not do last night with some big free throws down the stretch by both Hilton and Hager. Rebounding. Not County Central with the lead at 9-6. They also have the lead in assist at 4-3. Turnovers. Not County Central with six. Belfry with four. Sonny Huff connecting on the first one. Keep the field goal percentage indicative now of the hard defense. Both teams shooting 36%. Hamburger shot no good. Belfry finally coming away with it. It is a three on one. Hager between the legs to J.J. Hilton for the layup. Man, oh man, I tell you, Sean Hager and J.J. Hilton both played a little quarterback for this Belfry Pirate team in football, and Philip Haywood. And both of them know what to do on the break, Keith. Sonny Huff for three. No, they called it two. His foot was on the line, but he was wide open, Jim. No one around him that time. Big battle on the inside developing now. Like 33, Scott Thomas and 44, Jason Browning banging on the inside with Brad Arrington. Phillips looking to Hilton. This is for three if it goes. No good. Phillips with a rebound and put it back up and in. Chris Phillips, 5'11", senior, had 11 in a big win over Ravenswood, West Virginia, and 12 in a big win over Feds Creek, district rivals. Hamburger on the baseline, pardon me, Arrington, off to Huff. Sonny Huff gets the two-point feed from Arrington. You know, they're going into Arrington, and then the defense sort of collapses around him, and Huff doing a good job cutting to the open area. Hager dribbling all the way through the Knott County defense that time for the two points. Quick on quick, and uh, so far as college basketball goes, Hager has to find a home somewhere. Now there's John Kitchen with a quick three-pointer. Jim, I have a funny feeling that this may be an 80-point, 90-point ball game and be a close one. 
it is going to be a good one. We have a little bit of a net problem here. And uh, don't know, we may have to kind of have somebody hang on the rim a little bit and take care of that one. We're at the 545 mark of this second quarter. Not County Central, the 14th region in the 55th district. And of course, they have some tough foes as well. Breathitt County, one of the top teams in the 14th. Cordia, Riverside, June Buchanan also in that tough 55th. Phillips open, no good. Arrington with the rebound. All alone, Cody, and he'll get the foul. Good look that time from John Kitchen. Excellent look, and Kitchen had the big game versus Jackson County. He had 19, also some nine assists and eight rebounds. Kitchen holds a big, big key out front at 29 in the win versus Bell County earlier this year. A rather tough two-point loss, I should say. Good crowd on hand. A lot of people staying over from the opening ball game. Clay County winning over Shelby Valley. Scotty's, pardon me, Steve Staten. I had to say Scott Staten back in the game. I've seen him shoot. He, I don't think he could help golfers in this game. <laughs> Pressure beaten rather easily by Belfry. Don't know how much success they would have in full court pressure against Belfry. Just maybe trying to get them a little bit out of the rhythm. Beautiful pass that time by Staten underneath. Jason Browning gets the easy two points, but quite an assist that time by Staten. Here's Kitchen for three again. I have a funny feeling that somebody is going to have a hand in his face next time. This ball game is tied 27-27. Kitchen, the 6-1 senior. Hilton had it stolen away. Staten picks it up. Fired it off balance, and Knott County coming away with it, and we have got a foul against Knott County. I believe, they're, we believe we're going to have an intentional foul here, Keith. And uh, referee Ken Catron will sort it out in front of us here. And I think this one will go against Sonny Huff. It is a flagrant foul against Sonny Huff, number 44. Staten, a 6'2 junior. Points in the win over Hazard. Shooting into the tough end zone there, Keith. Sonny Huff will take a seat. He's been bothered a little bit by the flu bug the past couple of days. Well, Staten gets them both. Also now, Belfry is going to get the ball back with the foul situation. And let's sort of marked that when it occurred at the 430 mark of the second quarter and could turn things around for Belfry. Hager for three. Missed it. However, it's put back up and in on the putback is Scott Thomas with the offensive board and quickly Belfry runs off four straight points. Look what I found. Thomas was too far under the bucket. Not County would have gotten the ball. Hamburgie saves it. Hager takes it away. Hilton all the way down. And he is going to be fouled by John Kitchen. It really has turned out to be an interesting game. We were tied. We were tied at 27 when the intentional foul, or rather the flagrant foul, occurred. And now Belfry has put up four straight points. And we're going to get a timeout. Belfry leading by four over Knott County. And it was 
turned out to good, be a good basketball game. Don't you go away. We'll be right back. Pirates up 32-27 over not County. At Memorial Hospital in Manchester, we're undergoing some major changes for the future. With over 20 years of service, including a full-capacity lab, ER unit, CT scanner, and mammography unit, we're enhancing medical care with this $600,000 renovation and by actively recruiting physicians. 1991 is Memorial Hospital's 20th anniversary in Manchester, and we're proud to be a part of this community. Thank you for your support, and thank you for the privilege of meeting your health care needs now and in the future. Hyden Citizens Bank would like to announce that applications are now being taken for the Golden Opportunities Club account. The club is a special package of services designed specifically for the needs and lifestyles of individuals 50 years and older. Hyden Citizens Golden Opportunities Club is unique in the type of travel program offered with this account. Members will be eligible for several trips per year at reduced group rates. For more information, stop by any of Hyden Citizens Bank's locations or call 672-2344, member FDIC. We were tied at 27-27 after the flagrant foul. It has been a five-point turnaround. Belfry now up 32-27. However, John Kitchen and the Patriots will bring the basketball the length of the floor. Belfry kind of dropping out of the zone. They'll go man-to-man -man this trip, Keith. Jeff Cody fouled in the act of shooting. I have a funny feeling in this ball game, Jim. We're going to see a few people maybe going to the bench because of foul trouble, unlike the first ball game. That is the third personal foul on Staten. He sits down, and Chris Phillips checks in for him. Of course, Belfry doesn't lose much with that exchange. Cody with the free throw. Second one out of the way is good. And you see part of the crowd on hand tonight. A lot of people braving the weather to make it out. And I'm sure they haven't been disappointed. Hager looking underneath, and he is called for traveling. Now the turnover against the Pirates. We'll give it back to Knott County. See rebounding just about equal. Patriots 14, the Belfry Pirates 13. Kevin Couch, number 12, into the game. Kitchen is going to pull it back out. Belfry matching up man-to-man -man now. They had been in the zone. The zone had really given problems to Knott County Central. Of course, they've come up with a little bit of foul trouble. And uh, somewhat differently with the foul trouble, they'll switch to the man-to-man, -man, go to some substitutions. Well, I really don't understand. If, if you're going to get the Pirates in the man-to-man, -man, Jim, I think it'd be a great opportunity to drop him or Arrington down on the baseline and just let him work one-on-one -on -one a few times. I think you're exactly right, Keith, and that may be where he's floating to right now, but some heavy pushing on the inside. Thomas doesn't want to let him inside there. Stolen away by Hager. Arrington brought the ball down below his waist. You can't do that when you've got a little guy like Sean Hager who's going to come in and strip it away. He's just tough as nails, and uh, now Belfry going to pull it out a little bit, Keith, because not County Central has dropped into the zone, and... Evidently, Coach Raymond Justice now wanting to eat off a little clock with some of the foul trouble that he does have. So, Belfry experienced. They got the good size, the excellent quickness. But the thing that worried Jim Rose, the guard play, and in particular, the guard play of the fellow who's holding the ball right there, Sean Hager. He feels like he is the creator of the red team. Still by the Patriots, Belfry gets it back. Hilton all the way underneath and got the layup. Well, I started to question the move of holding the ball, but it paid off. Two points for Belfry. Hilton with 11 points now, Keith, beginning to heat up. Arrington wanting it on the inside, and he's getting a little aggravated because it's not coming in there. Some pushing on the inside. He 
to get that big fella the ball when he's working that hard. There he is, and there's the foul. I think Arrington is trying to tell them just exactly what we said. You've got one-on-one. -on -one. You've got a man who's 6'2". You're 6'8", 6'9". You're four feet from the basket. Let's play the odds. Right, Jim? Why not, Keith? And, you know, we've already talked about some of your high school aspects and uh, some of the games with Todd May, and I think that had to be your guy's strategy. You got big Todd working hard on the inside. Let's get him the ball. Same thing here with Brad Arrington. You, if the big guy's working hard, you got to get him the rock. Well, we're going to get a technical foul <laughs> against the Belfry Pirates, and I really did not see where it came from, but evidently it is against Raymond Justice. We have seen some big momentum swings here. Hilton misses the stuff. Uh, they get the flagrant foul on Knott County, and now a technical on Belfry. And you think both of these teams want it? Without question. I agree with you. It has been a ball game of intrigue so far in the first half. It can only get better in the second half, I believe. John Kitchen nails both free throws, and Jim, we're tied again at 34 with a minute 22 seconds remaining in this ball game. Jim Rose is happy. His team's back in this game. Little 7-2 run for Knott County now. Kevin Couch out on the wing. Arrington turned. Had it partially blocked and got it to go. Now, that's what I said about playing the odds. Remember? <laughs> It had nothing to do with wagering on the Super Bowl, nothing like that. Simply go inside to the big guy and get him the rock. That's right. Harrington makes the three-point play, and not County claims a three-point lead in the game, their first lead of the half. Brad Arrington had a game people only dream about the state tournament. Nine of nine from the field, one of one from the foul line. 19 points, a perfect evening against Corbin. Arrington with the block. Browning puts it back up. No good. Not County with a rebound. Here comes Kitchen on the run. Off to Arrington. Laid it up and in. Look at the Knott County fan. You know, it's made a difference in Arrington. They got him the ball. Now he's running the floor and filling the lane, Jim, the big man. Keith, what about the decision now of Raymond Justice? His team held a two-point lead, a three-point lead, rather, when they decided to go to a little bit of a four-corner action. They come up with the technical foul. It sort of exploded on them. A 12-2 run now for Knott County. I think he's doing a smart thing here by going for one. Hilton puts it on the way. No good. Kitchen fires at the length of the floor, and it will not go, but what a turnaround. Down 32-27. Knott County outscores Belfry 12-2 to take a five-point lead into the half. Well, we'll take a timeout and return to halftime activities. The Patriots in charge. How does your Toyota dealer stack up? Any deal they can make, we can make better. Can we deliver? Yes, we can. Big selection. Yes, we can. Great deal. Yes, we can. Big savings. Yes, we can. Your Toyota dealers are out to move thousands of new Toyotas with special financing, immediate delivery, and the year's biggest option package savings. Can't believe it. Believe it. Cool. Say yes to the year's biggest deal. Can we deliver? See your Toyota dealer today and find out. Yes, we can. If you are thinking of a career in education, think Union College. The teacher education program is a tradition at Union, with over half of its graduates having received degrees in the teaching field. Union delivers a dependable quality academic experience in an atmosphere that promotes success. With a high percentage of faculty with PhDs and a student-faculty ratio of 14 to 1, Union is committed to offering each student a personal and individual approach to their education. Come share the experience at Union College. 
If you're over 55 and tired of all the service charges at your bank, you need to look into the Citizens Plus checking account at Citizens Bank in Jackson. Citizens Plus requires no minimum balance, no per check charge, or monthly service charge. You receive your basic checks, money orders, direct deposit service, traverse checks, estate planning recommendations, and a $1,000 accidental death policy absolutely free. That's Citizens Bank and Trust Company of Jackson, the bank grown with the mountains that's large enough to serve, yet small enough to care. On January 12th, a farmer, as though drawn by an irresistible force, drove his truck off the road, through a field, and into a Pepsi billboard, changing the course of cola history forever. To find out how, watch the big game on January 26th. Pepsi is proud to be part of the WYMT Mountain Basketball Classic and proud to promote academic excellence with our scholarship contribution. Proceeds of the Mountain Basketball Classic after expenses have funded 36 scholarships to deserving Eastern Kentuckians. The following nominations have been made by high school principals and guidance counselors for these scholarships based upon their academic achievements Another guidelines established by the Mountain Basketball Committee. And the nominees are Melissa Renee Brock from Bell County, Sarah Mae Burnside, Knox County Central, Rebecca Sue Denny, Rockcastle County, Holly Renee Hensley, Cumberland, Cynthia Marie Huddleston, Whitley County, Amy Miller, James A. Keywood High School, Laura J. Taylor, Pineville, Stacy Shelley, Williamsburg, Jason Sizemore, Clay County, Samuel Reed Weiler, Middlesbrough, Jacqueline Williams, Everts. From the 14th region, Brian Keith Campbell, M.C. Napier, Terry Glenn Campbell, Hazard, Marshall Allen Caudle, Lesher, Misty Elaine Kreider, Dills Combs, Darren Blaine Day from Whitesburg, Joseph Edward Deaton, Jackson City, Stacy Diane Elliott from Knott County Central, Leslie Danita Haynes, Fleming Neon, Aaron McIntosh, Breathed County, Kimberly Don Mullins, Buckhorn, William John Smith, Cordia, Karen Ray Thornsbury, June Buchanan, Deandra Jotyra, Wolf County, Danielle Wells, Leslie County. From the 15th region, the scholarship nominees are Floyd Douglas Blackburn, Johns Creek, Christina Marie Castle, McGoffin County, Samantha Elaine Cook, Elkhorn City, Melissa Lynn Corbett, Allen Central, Norma Jean Fuller, Feds Creek, Brad Hall, Wilwright, Lisa Hazlett from Painesville, Kevin Justice from Millard, Victor Thomas Justice Phelps, Yolanda Lane, Pikeville, James Libby, Mullins, Heather Chantel McCoy, Belfry, Susan Shawning, McDowell, Carla Don Smith from Johnson Central, Jody Miller Wallen from Prestonsburg, and Cassandra Selena Woody. The nominee is representing their region well. We at WYMT TV salute academics and athletics and believe both can succeed hand in hand. Confidence is a big part of succeeding in business today. And as Eastern Kentucky supplier of quality Caterpillar equipment and service, Wayne Supply has built a reputation on the confidence of our customers. Confidence in knowing we'll come through with just the right equipment for the right job, big or small. And confidence in knowing that everything Wayne sells is backed by the best and most complete parts and service support to keep you on the job with less downtime. Whatever your needs in Eastern Kentucky, contact your nearest Wayne Supply branch. Wayne Supplies Confidence. Alice Lloyd College is a tuition-free institution located in the heart of Eastern Kentucky. Founded in 1923, Alice Lloyd's primary objective is the provision of a college education to qualified Mountain students regardless of financial ability. Our students work to provide needed services for the college community while paying part of their educational costs through workshops. Alice Lloyd College believes no qualified applicant should fail to attend college due to the lack of financial ability. If you're interested in attending Alice Lloyd College, call 368-2101. There's a feeling in the mountain, something special in the air. There's a feeling in my heart, I don't get just anywhere. This is a place I love and I'm happy.
34, the Knott County Patriots taking a five-point lead over Belfry and Jim wild first half of basketball. We had the flagrant foul against Knott County, a five-point swing. We came back, we had a technical foul against Coach Justice of Belfry, which turned out to be a five-point swing. Really some factors that made this not only a competitive first half, but a very interesting first half. Boy, it was interesting, and this game right here, Keith, as we look in this second half, you know, we talked about Clay County's defense. The team that plays the best defense is going to win this one. For Belfry, they're going to have to figure out some way to bottle up Arrington. If they do, of course, that may leave Kitchen open on the outside. Well, we did have a rebirth of Arrington, as you can see. Field goal percentage, 48% for the Patriots, as opposed to 31 for the Pirates. 92% from the free throw line for Knight County. 73% for Belfry. Two three-pointers. Kitchen has them both. Four for the Pirates. Rebounding, the edge goes to the Patriots. 17-15, and the turnovers, not counting, surprisingly, has committed three more than Belfry. Eight to five, that amount. The scoring, 39-34. Not County up by five, but there is going to be, oh, what a second half of basketball to play. I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Oh, it is, Keith. And, you know, if you look over here, not County Central, the guard play of Belfry will be key in this second half. Somehow they're going to have to stop Hager from penetrating and getting the open shots on the wings for Hilton. Maybe kick it down inside to Thomas. So, Pinson. So, it, it's going to be tough for both teams. Looks like maybe the guard play for Belfry, inside play for Knott County, and defense going to win it. And will the rebirth of Arrington continue? We'll find out. Second half action coming up. Knott County and Belfry right here at the Morton Combs Athletic Complex. Taco Bell is proud to be a sponsor of the 5th Annual WYMT-TV High School Mountain Classic. After the game, make a run for the border to the Taco Bell restaurant in Hazard on the Daniel Boone Parkway. And enjoy the 69-cent value menu with delicious tacos, burritos, and more. When it comes to good food at great prices, Taco Bell is a Mountain Classic. <laughs> In the Olympic Winter Games, a fraction of a second can separate the top ten finishers. An instant of hesitation can cost a medal. A split-second decision can lead to disaster. A fraction of a second can mean the dream of a lifetime. Go for the gold with WYMT, your mountain television, your Winter Olympic station. Friday nights on WYMT. We're back at the Morton Combs Athletic Complex. Jim Frazier along with Keith Gates both. And Keith, the first game we saw Clay County come out like a house of fire and, of course, put it to a tough Shelby Valley Wildcat squad. This one, though, going right through the wire, I think, the whole way. Well, I think it's going to be a very interesting ball game. Just for the simple fact that we had so much drama in the first game. It was a really a swing of what you would call moods between both teams. And Brad Arrington, boy, he was really into this game at the end of the second quarter. It's going to be curious to see how he opens up the third, as do the Pirates. As you see, J.J. Hilton and Sean Hager getting ready to toss it inbounds from half court. Belfry will own the basketball, and it is Knott County opening up in a zone. Couch starting for Knott County in place of Sonny Huff in the third quarter. Huff, of course, whistled for a flagrant foul and is not back in the starting lineup. Yeah, but he's also been bothered by a flu bug, Keith, and uh, really not anywhere near 100% this evening. John Kitchen. Here's Cody. Jeff Cody strikes the first two points, and Knott County 
makes it a seven point lead. He has 12, Keith. Hilton shot over Arrington that time, would not go. Underneath, Couch all alone, he's got the layup. Well, Knott County rips off a quick four-point run, and Belfry is going to call for a timeout. Raymond Justice does not like what he's seeing out on the floor. He wants to talk it over with the Pirates. Seven minutes, one second remaining. 43-34, and you see Coach Justice right now talking with J.J. Hill. Well, Keith, let's see. We see if we can go into the huddle here with Coach Jim Rose. And the Patriots happy at this point because they have opened with that steam of fire they had going out of that second quarter, Jim. Nachos and cheese. Big, big run. 16 to 2. And now I think you're going to see some change up defense, Keith. They switch back to the man, don't they? Or nope, still in that zone. No, they're just going to match up the zone. Right. Trying to stop a little bit of the penetration by Hagen. Phillips open from 15. No good. Belfry is not themselves at this point. A little off track. Howard Kraft into the game for the Patriots. Both teams substituting freely at this point. Kraft, baseline, leaves it for Arrington. Put it on the floor, pumped it up, got it to go. Brad Arrington has got some of the best rolls I've ever seen on a basketball floor. He's on the home court and he's feeling it tonight. 14 points for Arrington despite really not getting started quickly and you see a nice play there he just ties up Hager but he didn't get his first bucket so some six minutes were gone in this game and he's really heated it up well Hager just really dribbled that time somewhat blindly into trouble well they've gone to that zone to try and stop some of that penetration and Sean perhaps forcing it a little bit that time Arrington underneath Ambergy had it blocked away here comes Hilton on the run. J.J. for two. No good. Cody clears it. Three on two. Knocked away by Hager. Amberger gets it back, and Hilton blocks it. It is a jump ball. It will belong to the Pirates. Boy, the fans really love to cheer when Hilton does anything over here. <laughs> well, these fans are in it. Not County Central struggling a little bit this year, 9-9 nine and nine on the year, but really getting it going. And that man responsible, Jim Rose, formerly the coach at Alice Lloyd, of course, Wheelwright High School star. Jim Rose went to the University of Kentucky on scholarship. He was there as a freshman with a couple of fellas by the name of Larry Conley and Tommy Cron. Of course, Larry Conley's Ashland team knocked Jim Rose wheelwright team out in the semifinals of the state tournament and a lot of folks will tell you that that Ashland squad may be the best of all time in the state of Kentucky. Well, Arrington picked up the foul. He's going to take a seat. Hilton, long three. No good. Cody with the rebound. Knocked away from him, but it is off the Belfry Pirates. Well, actually, there's going to be a foul on Belfry. It'll go to 22 Phillips coming over the back, and Knott's County will get the basketball. Hamburgie. Cody looking at a man-to-man -man defense now. Hager and Kitchen, been a good matchup. Hager will knock this one away, but Knott County will retain the ball. Knott County had really had most of their offense off of Arrington, at least with a pass and cuts off of the pivot or into the pivot for the final shot, and they're struggling a little bit in getting that open shot. Well, no problem for Hall that time.
47-34. 13-point lead. Phillips with a jumper. No good. Rebound brought off by Cody. Belfry has gone, Keith, eight minutes with one field goal. The last four and a half minutes of the first half and the first three and a half here in this second half. They are getting a little frustrated and not able to put it in the sack. Unbelievable, if you'll remember, Jim, 32-27 was our score in the second quarter. Since that point, Knott County has outscored Belfry 20-2. Quite a run. Of course, Belfry can get it back in a hurry, Keith. Uh, just one of those times when you just need one big play to get you going. J.J. Hilton gets the lay-in. I think he might have wanted the dunk that time, but knew he needed the two points worse than anything. Sure did, Keith. It was a good realization on his part. Couch out of the corner. Good. Not Kelly is on fire. Patriots with eight turnovers. Belfry with seven. Here's Browning getting a bucket underneath for the Pirates. That pulls it back within 13. Hall underneath, got the one-hand turnaround. Well, Sean Hall has been a good replacement for Erickson. He picked up where Big Brad left off. Coach Jim Rose told me that his bench has really come on, and the depth factor, his big advantage, and they are doing lights out. Shot underneath, won't go. It is going to belong to Belfry, however. Three minutes, 14 seconds remaining in this third period of play. And we're, we're going to get a timeout. Not County with a 13-point lead, 51 to 38 over Belfry. Confidence is a big part of succeeding in business today. And as Eastern Kentucky supplier of quality Caterpillar equipment and service, Wayne Supply has built a reputation on the confidence of our customers. Confidence in knowing we'll come through with just the right equipment for the right job, big or small. And confidence in knowing that everything Wayne sells is backed by the best and most complete parts and service support to keep you on the job with less downtime. Whatever your needs in Eastern Kentucky, contact your nearest Wayne Supply branch. Wayne Supplies Confidence. On January 12th, a farmer, as though drawn by an irresistible force, drove his truck off the road, through a field, and into a Pepsi billboard, changing the course of Cola history forever. To find out how, watch the big game on January 26th. Quite a ball game on her hands. Not County and Belfry. Pirates trying to close the gap at this point. Trying to post J.J. Hilton down low. Body's really banging. Staten with a jump shot. Won't go. Belfry has really just been cold from the floor, Jim. They sure have, but Not County turned up the pressure on defense. They're not getting that shot in the comfort range, Keith. A couple of three feet further out. Well, offensive charge. Good call by the official. Cody gets whistled for it. Nice job of holding his ground by Joey Pinson, 6'4", senior. Look at the rebounding edge for the Patriots as they uh, move it up 24-18. And uh, right now, the field goal shooting percentage is key. Is not County Central far in excess of 50%. Belfry can't throw it in the ocean this second half. Hager's three, no good. Rebound almost taken that time by Knight County, but it will belong to Belfry. Couch was out of bounds. Raymond Justice into this game. His Pirates trailing. See Brad Arrington, he will check back in. Knott County Central has actually pushed this lead up with the big guy down on the Pines, Keith. Hilton missed a three, got the rebound, two-pointer, and he's going to have a chance to make it three. Now here come the Pirates on their way back. Well, only their sixth point. 
in this third frame. And we have played some six minutes of the third quarter. Arrington now will check back in, and Kevin Couch, the big hand. J.J. Hilton had 32 versus Ravenswood, West Virginia. Had 36 versus Ballard in the LIT, Keith. And uh, Beth Belfry played a great game against the number four ranked Ballard team in the Louisville Invitational Tournament. This one knocked out by some 12 points. Very close down at the end, though. Cody working against J.J. Hilton. It is out of bounds. It will belong to Knott County, however. I think you're going to see Belfry try and get back in this game. They haven't had many run-out buckets because, you know, Knott County has been able to put it in the hole. Uh, something that concerned Jim Rose was the fact they'd have to get back on defense because Belfry likes to get it and go. Hamburger looking. A lot of pushing on the inside with Pinson and Arrington. Big Brad underneath. And stripped from behind. And the foul is on Pinson, number 14. Harrington is going to be at the free throw line for two. Well, it has already been a successful tournament. The fifth annual WYMT Wayne Supply Mountain Classic, sponsored by Pepsi and in part by the Toyota dealers of Eastern Kentucky. If we get a chance tonight, or maybe tomorrow night, if we see Danny Feltner of East Kentucky Beverage, Pepsi, he's also an official, and quite a good one at that. Maybe we can grab a chat with him and find out all the things, Jim, we've always wanted to know about officiating. <laughs> Brad Arrington, smooth shot for a big guy. He gets the good rotation. That one didn't drop, but you'll find that most of them will. Hilton looking underneath, stolen by Arrington. Jump shot will not go that time. Here's by the Cody. fast break, Keith. Hilton all the way, didn't get it. Hager with a rebound, back up and in. Leaf coach Raymond Justice wanted the foul that time. You saw so Jim, Jim Rose, Rose wanted the charge. <laughs> Jim Rose wanted the same foul, just the wrong way. Cody underneath. Both of these teams are starting to heat up. We mentioned this final score could be in the 80s. Hilton off the baseline. Good for two. Well, the thing that kept Belfry from making it towards the 80s is that awful cold spell that they experienced in the latter part of the second quarter, first of the third quarter. They went eight minutes, managed only two points. See the high post feed there. Amberge cuts free. Oh, what a spin for Amberge. Would not go down. Now that was like our putts. Keith. Yeah. No, you know, they just won't go down. Right? That was absolutely the golf putt. But uh, Byron Amberge, an excellent shooter, and uh, Coach Jim Rose said if he's had a tougher nose player than Byron Amberge, he couldn't remember. Ten seconds. Belfry looking for the last shot. Trying to post up Hilton down deep. Hager for a long three. No good. Put it back up. It is going to go. And the foul with one second. What a play by Hager. The littlest guy on the floor, Keith. Shoots it from behind the arc. Bolts in to get the rebound. And, uh, you know, I know there's some college coaches watching out there. And uh, there's no way that you can tell me that a guy like Sean Hager can't come in for a... Pikeville College or KIAC team and really give them a lift. Now, one thing I do know, when you can shoot a three-pointer and get your own rebound, <laughs> you're pretty doggone quick. Sean Hager showed that as he was able to get the basket but not the free throw after three quarters complete. 54-47, not County, leads Belfort. How does your Toyota dealer stack up? Any deal they can make, we can make better. Can we deliver? Yes, we can. A lot of trucks. Yes, we can. Big savings. Yes, we can. 
great deal. Now's the time to get your best deal on the best-selling import truck with immediate delivery, special financing, and the year's biggest option package savings. No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Say yes to the year's biggest deal. Can we go to the See your Toyota dealer today and find out. Yes, we can. When you need heating or cooling work and you prefer a company with experience and know-how, call London Bucket Company. London Bucket Company has been helping your neighbors stay comfortable for years. London Bucket Company installs and services the Miller Contractor's preferred line of heating and cooling equipment, which means you get dependable work and a name you can trust. Isn't that the way you prefer it? For any home comfort needs, call 864-5138. That's 864-5138. You'll prefer London Bucket Company. Now the Patriots leading 54-47, doing two ball games in a row, Jim, and sitting on this bleacher, you might think would get tiresome, but fortunately, I trained my entire high school <laughs> career for this moment, <laughs> and I am in excellent shape for it. <laughs> Arrington could not get to spin that time on the beautiful hook shot. J.J. Hilton looking underneath, and we are going to have a foul on number four, that's Jeff Cody. See some shooting percentages here. Belfry, 6 of 19. My quick math, that's a little bit less than 33%, something like 31%. While Knott County goes 7 of 10 for 70%, and that was the difference as Knott County held a 5-point lead at the end of the first half. Hilton could not get it to go. Knott County got away with a no-no, saving it under the basket. Kitchen puts it up and in. Ten points for John Kitchen. And he runs the team well from out on the point. Arrington holding his baseline down there. One thing you see about Belfry, not a whole lot of panic in their faces and in their eyes. Uh, they're trying to post Hilton down low, and he just cannot get free. Hager, long three, no good. Good block out by Knott County. No way the red team could get to the ball. Kitchen blocked that time by number 21, Staten, and it's going to be a flagrant foul. Technical foul, Raymond Justice. That's his second. You know, I got to say something, Jim. I don't agree with the flagrant foul. I oh. thought it was a good, hard rejection. He didn't push him in the back. He didn't grab him. He didn't hold him or try to intentionally hurt him. He just simply gave him a good, hard foul and rejected the ball. I agree with you, Keith. He was not going for the man. He was going for the ball and made that play. Um, you know, I've... Well, the official just indicated that he thought his elbow hit him in the face, but I don't think that was intentional at all. If the elbow did hit him, I think it was incidental contact. I, I really don't think that he meant it. And uh, this is going to be difficult for Belfry to overcome, but not County Central has taken advantage of all the opportunities here this evening. Started a little sluggishly, but boy, they have really gotten things going. Raymond Justice picks up his second technical foul. So you have just seen the Patriots hit four free throws in a row. Now they'll get the ball. It's a 13-point lead, and yeah, they're whooping it up here in Knott County. All right, Keith, you know, I don't know about the situation here, but Raymond Justice, or at least the bench, has had two technicals called on them. And, of course, he is still in the action here. I thought it was two technicals. It used to be three a long time ago. I thought they switched it to two, and you were ejected from the game, but uh, evidently not. Hilton on the baseline. He's looking for three air ball that time. Belfry's going to get a timeout. Boy, you can hear the crowd here at Knott County. 
60-47, Knott County Central over the Belfry Pirates. Taco Bell is proud to be a sponsor of the 5th Annual WYMT-TV High School Mountain Classic. After the game, make a run for the border to the Taco Bell restaurant in Hazard on the Daniel Boone Parkway. And enjoy the 69-cent value menu with delicious tacos, burritos, and more. When it comes to good food at great prices, Taco Bell is a mountain classic. If you are in the need for quality American automobile engines and parts, call Shepard's All-American Auto Sales in Manchester at 1-800-521-3896. If it's American, Shepard's has you covered, and Shepard's can find out what you need quickly in their huge inventory of late model vehicles and parts. Shepard specializes in small trucks and four-wheel drives, and they now feature rebuildable wrecks. Call them today at 1-800-521-3896 for Shepard's All-American Auto Sales in Manchester. Welcome back. We're all ready in action. These two teams are not going to hold up for anyone. Arrington in the middle, looking. Had it tipped away by Hilton. J.J. off to the races. One-on-one. -on -one, pulls it up. Not going to get the basket, but he is going to get the foul. John Kitchen with the personal foul that time. J.J. pulled it up that time, Jim, instead of taking it straight to the basket and tried to get the jump shot to fall. J.J. Hilton, Keith, I have him uh, three of four from the line. Gets the good deep knee bend. Just can't get it to drop. Belfry has really had their problems from the field. They have just not shot the ball well. Well, they have not scratched in this fourth frame as of yet. And Another long drought, and that's not like Belfry basketball. There's a steal by Hager. Puts it up in the crowd. No good. Arrington with the rebound. Not County looking to break it out. Cody had it blocked from behind by Pinson. Kitchen gets it back. Cody again, this time from the wing. No good. Tipped back up again by Sonny Huff. Now, Sonny Huff had been on the bench for a long time, been bothered by the flu, and Coach Jim Rose brings him in. Hilton can't get the three to He's go. He's lonesome on the other end. They don't see him. Some of that desperation you said you didn't see might be inching its way into the Belfry players. Did. Hager came up with a good steal, just couldn't get the basket to drop. Uh, couple of moments ago and uh, I think if he could have gotten that one to drop they could have maybe found some momentum right now uh, they're just trying to battle to keep from getting blown out in this one has to be forced to go to the man to man and try and do some jump switches and come up with some speed sure that Jim Rose is happy to see that picture perfect Brad Arrington turning around with a jump shot at 33 versus Wolf County earlier in the year now Arrington whistled for the foul at the other end not County we said it in the opening quarter Jim reversing things they had led big over most of their opponents and then faltered they faltered at the beginning of this game down 12 to 2 and then made their run Keith, a 37 to 16 spread is what those gals have been looking at since the middle of the second quarter. Well, listen, you can't fault the Pirates on their haircut. I want you to know that. If you'd noticed, Pinson had YMT, WYMT in the back of his head. Gonna have a foul on J.J. Hilton in backcourt. He tripped up John Kitchen that time. Keith, we could be setting up a rematch of last year's final. It was Knott County and Clay County going at one another. And Belfry could be in that consolation game with Shelby Valley. Sonny Huff. Well, Huff is two of two since coming off the bench. J. 
Jim Rose has had everything clicking. You bring in Kevin Couch, he plays well. You rest Sonny Huff, he comes back and plays well. Sean Hall into the game, fills in for Arrington. He has pushed all the right buttons, and the big guy, Arrington, now is working so much harder on defense now, really leaning on Pinson. Staten for three. No. And Arrington had the rebound stolen away, and he is going to be called for goaltending. Had he allowed that basketball to come off there, I don't think it was going to go in. But the big guy's won, Nick Keith. He is ready to play, and I think that's what Jim Rose wanted to see, his big guy getting hungry again as they go down the stretch, second half of this season. Hamburg, might have walked, had it blocked instead. Staten looking off, that pass stolen by Knott County. Huff at the other end. I think we're gonna maybe have a foul on the inside. It's gonna go against Pinson. Perhaps a little frustration, but, but. Boy, this crowd, Jim. I know we're not near capacity, but what an ovation and what kind of sixth man the crowd has become. You would think it is the, you would think this is the Sweet 16 <laughs> State Tournament. Of course, the fans will want to join us tomorrow night because Knott County Central will be toe-to-toe -to -toe with Clay County in the championship. And, of course, we could have a preview of the 15th region championship in our consolation game as Belfry, of course, taking on Shelby Valley. Last year, Belfry and Elkhorn City met in the consolation game, and that did turn out to be a preview of the 15th regional final. Of course, Belfry wound up winning that one, but in our consolation last year, Elkhorn City with the upset win. Hilton for three, no good. Huff brings it away. And kicking the ball is J.J. Hilton, so it will belong to not County. 68-50, 18-point lead for the Patriots. Only three minutes, 46 seconds remaining. It would take quite a comeback by Belfry. Both teams still playing hard, though, Keith. Sean Hager giving it everything he's got out of the point for Belfry. Harrington turns off. No good. And the foul is going to be off Jeff Cody. Good little drop step move that time by Arrington when they went into the pivot. Might have gotten away with a walk. But I think you're right. I, I think you're right. <laughs> of course, I I've never known of a big man admitting to traveling no. or, or a foul. No. No way. Big Jim Rose there. He is working hard. Raymond Justice working hard as well despite the 18 point spread. Nothing really going for Belfry right no, now. Totally not even, out of rhythm. Not even the free throws. You know, I think the officials are going to have to step in and make a couple of calls now. Sort of get control of this thing because you know, Belfry came in with such high hopes and struggling just a little bit. So. I think you'll see them come in and make a couple of calls to get back in control of this one. Don't want to see anyone get hurt out here. They are really, really going at one another. Now Sean Hager is going to come out of the game. Arrington, 17 points. And adding to that, Jim, it didn't happen until you and I were discussing getting this man the ball in the second quarter. And since that point, it has been a new Brad Eric. <laughs> Hilton underneath, Browning off the glass, no good. Tell you, Knott County has really ruled the boards, Keith, since that middle part of the second quarter. Belfry getting one shot and out, and of course, Knott County just able to hit virtually everything they threw up at one stretch. 
and Belfry couldn't get the transition game going, and that's really their strength in the transition. Well, that was the first miss for Sonny Huff. There's a basket for J.J. Hilton, who has had somewhat of a quiet time as of late. He's got 19 points unofficially, Keith. Two minutes, 22 seconds, not County, no hurry. Hamburgie on the move, trap is on. There goes Kitchen through the lane. Off the hands of Arrington, it'll belong to Belfry. Not County back in the zone now, Jim. A 1-3-1, so... Man, that, they can do so many things. You saw Huff out there on the point, and, uh, you know, I wonder if that was a little bit of a practice deal for tomorrow. Uh, they might try and move Huff out a little ways and uh, on the wing to guard against Clay County's tough wing shooters. Thomas, no good offensive charge. Maybe... You know, Jim Rose said they try some different things. They may try and rely on Arrington to clean the glass and get the ball off the boards and maybe move a 6'4 guy like Huff who can really leap. We've already seen him with one dunk. A little bit more out on the perimeter to guard against the tough outside shooting at Clay County. So I think Jim Rose using his bench well and uh, perhaps planning for tomorrow Eve. Underneath, Sonny Huff got the layup. Good feed by Kitchen. He saw his man down there, Lonesome, got into him for the two. 16 for Huff now. Here's Staten, no good. Huff with the rebound. Big fourth quarter for Sonny Huff. Got eight points in the fourth quarter. Kitchen controlling the ball. Down to a minute left in the game. Here's Huff underneath, and he's going to get the foul from Browning. Not counting a different team here in the fourth quarter and the third, Jim. You see them looking for that man posted one-on-one -on -one down on the block. They weren't doing that in the opening quarter. Surely weren't, and uh, they have taken out a good Belfry team. They've done so in a commanding fashion also. You will remember, and not to take any luster of this away from Knott County, two technicals, a flagrant foul, three possessions of a basketball amounts to 12 points. Big lick. Up one out of two, and John Kitchen gets the steal. Cody. County celebrating because everything is going right. Good game by that young man, Jeff Cody, with 16. Hamburgie with a foul now. We have quite a few fans making their way to the exit as they have guessed the championship game will be not County, the whole school, in a rematch against Clay County, the defending champions from last year. And there's a fellow who's taking it all in, Keith, and uh, doing the scouting work, Bobby Keith. Nobody works any harder than him, and Jim Rose has put his time in this evening, earned his pay. See, the jacket long ago has been dispensed, working hard. Well, it's going to be a good 15th regional matchup. I know there's going to be a lot of coaches scouting that and fans wanting to see it. Shelby Valley and Belfry will be our opening ball game tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Yeah, and, uh, you know, our consolation game last year was a preview of the 15th regional final, so could be a good one. Browning won't go, and it is out of bounds off of Belfry. Well, both coaches now basically emptying, emptying their benches to get a lot of players in here. It's like we'll try to pick them up as we go. Kraft controlling things at the point for Knox County. And he just came down and nailed one. Era Howard Kraft. Kevin Muir. 
two points for Belfry. Academic at this point. Turn around, Bob, by the Patriots. Will not go, and the Pirates bring it down with 10 seconds. 